is Sally Kennedy and today I'm going to be sharing a story from English Fairy Tales last told by Flora Smith in 1922 um, and it kind of has a little Halloween theme so it's perfect for younger grades in a school library. It's called The Boogie Beast. So there was once this old woman and she lived in this tiny quaint village and she was the most cheerful woman anyone had ever met. And there was no reason for her to be cheerful. She had nothing to her name. She made her living by running errands for her neighbors. And um, in return, she would get a penny here, a penny there, maybe some supper here. And she just loved life. She didn't care about not having anything. So one day, this old woman was out on a walk and it was starting to get dark. And she looked over in the ditch and she saw this great big black pot. And she said, oh my, what luck if only I had something to put in that pot. Maybe I can bring it home and I can make something up to put in that pot. But why would anybody leave it there? And so she snuck over to it and she opened the lid and to her surprise, it was full of gold coins. And she said, oh my, what luck. I am rich, I am richer than rich. And she was so excited and she was like, oh, well this is heavy. How am I gonna get it home? So she looked around, she thought, and she was very thankful that it was starting to get dark out so her neighbors wouldn't start wondering about what she was doing and what she was dragging behind her. So she took her shawl off and she tied it around this pot. And she started schlepping it like a go-kart down the road, this old woman. And after a few minutes, she was so tired and she needed to take a break. And so she stood off to the side of the road and she looked behind her to check out her riches. And instead of a gold pot or a pot full of gold, it was a large lump of silver. She was like, oh my, silver? That is so much better than gold. It's so much easier to bring. And so she got so excited that her load was lighter. She grabbed her shawl again, started slapping it down the road. And after a while, she just needed to take another breather. So she looked behind her at her riches. And what did she see but a lump of iron? She was like, oh, I am so silly for thinking that was ever silver. What luck. Iron is so much easier to break into pennies. I will not be up all night worrying I'm going to be robbed. Pennies are so much easier to use in the village. I would so much rather take pennies over a lump of silver. So she grabbed her shawl again. She was feeling all energized, ready to go. So she went and she started walking back down the hill. And after a while she got tired, she looked back. And what was it? But just a stone. And she's like, oh my, what luck! I needed a stone to hold my front gate open. This is so practical. And so she ran home with this stone. She looked behind her. She was so excited to try it out at her front gate. And so she got home. She put the stone right by her front gate. She dragged it over there. She went to go untie the shawl. And all of a sudden, the stone sprouted four legs, it shot up ears, it grew huge as a haystack, and it started whinnying and squealing and laughing and looked straight into the eyes of that old woman and ran off into the, into the woods. And the old woman stood there and stared at it and after a minute, she was like, Oh my, what luck for me to see the boogie beast all to myself. 
And she went inside and she just giggled and laughed the rest of the night. And that is my story all about how luck is all about perspective and what you have. Thank you for listening.